Hello and welcome to the second Tips and Tricks brought to you by Red Rider. Again, my name is Rick Perlstein and I'm a certified watch guard trainer. What we want to talk about today is we want to talk about the we want to talk about multi WAN. If you're getting another if you if you are getting another um, uh, circuit, an external port on your network, there's no need to have to undo it, undo the first one to put the second one up. What I suggest is going into the network configuration, adding an external port. It doesn't matter whichever whichever configuration is not being used. I always call the external port by whatever carrier it is. So if you're using XO Communications, I call it XO Communications. Um, and possibly spell it right um, and say that it's an external you will need your IP address so if you put in your IP address 719-125-117 slash 29 and your gateway uh, 71 you need this information in order to be able to uh, in order to be able to configure the device and once you once you have it uh, configured you can say okay and that configures the external port on there the next thing you want to go to do is mu go multi-wan and if you do not have policy-based routing or fireware pro then you would just put it in um, either in a failover mode or you would put it in the round robin mode um, if you have it in the round robin mode, it'll bounce between one and the other. One will go through one way, the other, the second request will go through the second port, and vice and and, and on and on. Um, the difference is that if you use an failover, if your first one is a T1 and your and your new uh, device is cable, for example, where you have 30 megs versus 1.4, you may want to consider doing failover moving the XO communications the higher speed up the chart and and doing that now the way you do that and the way you have to configure this is you take the different external interfaces and you let it ping for example Google um, and then I tell this one to ping Google so if the firewall cannot send out a ping through either one of these it'll fail over to the other one It'll do it for 15 seconds. It'll send out a ping every 15 seconds. If it fails, if it fails three times, it will deactivate the the port and switch over to the to the other port. If they're upon three successful um, pings, it'll switch back to the primary. And the way again you make the primary is by putting these in order. Go with the multi WAN failover configure and moving it up or down and putting them in order. So in this case, XO communication would take precedence over the old external port. That way you can run both of them simultaneously. If you are going to replace the external port with the new port, then so be it. Uh, the new port, uh, port one, then Ethernet zero could go down and you not, uh, you not have to worry about it then you you can go in here and disable it or whatever you'd like to do anyway that's been uh rick at red rider uh, our phone number is 800-901-6900 if you have any questions if you'd like some help on configuring your device or security just a sanity check on your security policy give us a call thanks